Hello. How are you guys? Doing good, I hope. What's up? What's up? So, you guys, this picture I'm painting today was submitted by Biterbeck. It's a really beautiful depiction of like a turquoise nebula kind of and beautiful nighttime flight across a planet's surface. And it's mostly a water planet. It's just really calm water. Under the ship here, where you can see the little taillights and a ringed planet in the horizon. So that's what we're gonna do today. It's gonna be very um, juicy. I want a lot of paint, a lot of blending. The nebula is what really appealed to me about this, that beautiful turquoise color. So go to my Discord. You can check that photo out with your own eyeballs. It's way better than me holding that up to the screen. So um, check it out. We basically are working with white, black, and a whole lot of different shades of blue and green today. Um, oh, and we're going to want some tape. I almost forgot about the tape. Fortunately, I have some right here. So I'm going to want some scissors, though. BRB! Scissors. Okay. Hi, Moose. You like the new spot? It's very white. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought I'd try something different. So today, because I want those, the rear view lights <laughs> on the spaceship. Okay, what is it? It's the engine combustion exhaust port. <laughs> I don't know. What do you call it? What you might call it. So I want those to be really sharp edges. So I'm actually going to cut the duct tape so that it has a nice clean edge to it for these shapes. Basically, if you look at it, we've got. Oh, come back. There it is. Uh, two kind of rectangular shapes on the side. Looking at the center area. And then like a longer, thinner rectangle, rectangle <laughs> um, between the two, a little more towards the left. And then uh, two little small sort of square shapes. So what I'm going to do, because this duct tape is a good width, I'm just going to, the two spots that are the same, I'll try to just cut roughly. The same width, two little rectangles. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be perfect. If we wanted to go with perfect, we would print these out and use an exacto knife. Well, we don't need to be exacto. So then those little tiny square shapes on the bottom, I'll just do another one of those and cut the darn thing in half. Okay, so you've got three rectangles of the same shape. And I'll just take one of them whoop, and cut it in half. Ooh. Oh, this one kind of gets wider. Meta. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm a little OCD. Do what feels right for you. <laughs> so there's a cat toy on the back of the chair I'm sitting on, and Godfrey is having a lot of fun right here, right now. Right now. Hi, Magic. What's up? New spot. Good. Awesome. Thanks, Miss. Cool. I'm glad to know you guys like 
like the clean, stringent look. <laughs> it's nice, it's like a blank canvas. And what we're gonna create will appear right here. All right, so the spaceship is on the left hand side and a little bit up from the bottom. So we'll just put these roughly just under the center, like if you can imagine us a middle line, just underneath. And I don't know, they're, it's about this far apart. And really press those down, take your time and smooth it out. Give it a little love. You want all the edges to be down. Then the two little squares, they're even with the bottom of these rectangles. Like so. But then the thin rectangle that goes across is longer and it's actually more towards this one. So these probably could have been a little taller. We can do that, we'll make them taller. Just a little taller. Huh. <laughs> okay, a little MacGyvery here. Okay, so then one longer, I don't know, like when I say longer, I'm gonna cut down this way now. I guess about that. Up to there. You can't see very well. Magic. Hi, Kev B1. Whose picture is that? It is Biderbeck. Biderbeck um, posted this in the Discord. You can scroll up just a little bit to see it. Uh, in the Discord, NMS screenshots. If you ever want to try your hand at being my inspiration, post there. That's where I usually go. Yeah, magic has been the inspo for a few of them. Because in the beginning, it's the only one posting. And they're wonderful. You have a great eye, magic. And Beeble posted a really epic one that I'm thinking about doing as well. But I was just feeling, I was feeling the colors. It's the green and blue, cool, really dark. It's hot out, you guys. So I wanted to do a painting that was just like, Ah, hopefully feel the breeze going across the spaceship as it's crossing this, this epic universe ocean. So the light bar for the back exhaust is a little closer because the ship is sort of angled this way. But so yeah, just um, you don't necessarily want it in the center of these two, a little more towards the left. In fact, it could be a little closer. The gap right here is pretty slim and a larger gap on this side. So that looks good. Um, we're just gonna leave these on. So the white background will come through when we're all done. And then we will also have uh, some other white we put in with paint. 
But um, for now, leave this as it is. Next step, we are going to do our teal. Actually, no, wait, do I want to start with the black? Yeah, I want to start with the black. So we're going to do a strip of black and then we're gonna have the teal standing by. So we want both colors ready on our palette. So you're gonna want your palette for paint, of course, your water, and maybe a rag or a paper towel, something like that. The more you strive for perfection, the more you'll see it is flawed. It's true, we're all imperfectly perfect. I haven't posted anything to the Discord in a while. I've been ship hunting a lot, and that's what's clogging up my PS4 hard drive. <gasps> oh my goodness, Magic. Found lots of cool ships, even some shuttles all around Euclid. Heck yeah. I found a really cool ship last night, you guys. I have forgot, I have not posted it yet, but it's so, it's the weirdest Raza I've ever seen, so. I'll be posting that later today. Um, hello, Kev. Aside from ship hunting and scrapping, photography is one of my favorite things to do in this game. It is one of my favorite things to do in, I think, all games. All the games that have good photo mode. I mean, I, try, I was trying to do some in Destiny 2 the other day, and oh my goodness. It's just silly trying to get a good picture. I mean, you can, you can, and there's some cool like angles you can get and whatever, but like, yeah. Anyway, all right, so black and this beautiful like sea green teal. Here's the thing, the teal, you're gonna want plain white and plain black standing by uh, to play with, not a lot of it, but so this black you'll want a good amount and a little bit of white alongside your teal. It's the paint, not me, it's the paint, it's the paint. It's the paint, I promise, I promise. Ah, you guys, it's the paint, it's the paint. I gotta get more white, I gotta get it, I gotta get more. All right, so. <laughs> I've got a really pretty um, kind of light blue that's somewhat teal. There's definitely some sea green quality to that, but then I have a nice pretty green. So we're gonna green it up. And then if I need some extra blues, I have a couple standing by if I wanna deepen, deepen the blue quality of it. But I think these two are gonna mix well. Ooh. We'll see. It's the paint, guys. It's the paint. Ooh, this green is pretty. All right, so your palette. Take a look, guys. We're going to mix this up. Um, so I've got my black and my white. And then here's the two colors we're going to mix. I don't even know if this looks good to you guys, but I think it's fun to watch paint come together. So this blue and this green, let's see how they come together. Ooh, very minty. The green is very strong. See, and I thought that might be the case. So we're gonna throw a little bit of this pretty blue. In there. Oh, uh, sure, it's the paint. <laughs> well, yeah. Ooh, okay, here we go. This is a nice pretty teal. Yeah, I like that. Very nice. Okay, pretty. Don't forget which blue you used. 
because you might come back with a little bit of it to deepen some hues of this in the nebula. But yeah, we've got a nice pretty teal. It probably looks prettier to me than to you. Sorry, the camera. We'll get there. We'll get to improvements. I'm gonna wipe off the end of my brush here. Just right onto my apron. My apron is becoming quite pretty. <laughs> so we'll start with the black and then move into the teal action. So I'm gonna have two kind of bigger brushes standing by. And we'll start with the square one just for good coverage. Is it close enough, you guys? It should be closer. There, is that better? Sort of. There, that's nice. <laughs> All right, good. So, uh, we're just going to do a big chunk of black and we're going to work sort of quickly because we want the black to stay uh, not dry. And right above, let's see, I got to get my inspiration out for reference real quick. Yeah, so if you look, the, the dark horizon line, this black horizon line begins right above the top of the ship. So that's where we're gonna start. And it tapers down, it's not a perfect chunk across, it does go all the way across, but it's wider over here than it is over there. So, here we go. And don't be shy, just use as much paint as you can. Uh, again, we're gonna be sort of blending the top of this in with the sea green, so uh, teal. So work sort of quickly and I'm being very generous or liberal with the paint on my brush, lots of it, very juicy. And it tapers down over here. Okay. Good. So while that is still wet, we're gonna switch to our other brush now. And go in with the teal you made. And apply generously all over this upper section. Don't touch the black areas yet. You wanna almost come right up to it. And my brush strokes are, um, it's a nebula, so I'm not caring about having super directional. I'm sort of doing a flowing left to right, but it's um, flowing. All right, and the same thing, we want this to be in sort of a thick application so it doesn't dry too quickly. So we can blend and have some nebulous fun with our colors. All right, so now you've got a good amount of coverage up there. We're going to start to sort of blend around the black and you're gonna to have to probably pick up your sea green color a few times. You might even clean your brush in between. But you can see how you'll get a really neat combination of the two. Once your brush grabs too much of the black color, it's um, just gonna keep doing it. So that's, you can do a good rinse.
and get most of the moisture out of that brush. Go back with some more of the sea green. I'm almost out. That's okay though. I'm just gonna hit that border and let the two sort of play, but I don't want the black to take over. Well, it's starting to, dang it. It's such a powerful color. So I've cleaned my brush two times now, just because I want to keep the um, nebula, the color part of the nebula, vibrant. Okay, that's cool. That's coming together now. All right, cool, it's nice and wispy sort of um, blend of the two. Then I'm just gonna grab another um, big brush, but this one is uh, the circular kind. This is a big one, but it's um, the bristles are formed in a circle and it comes to a nice point. I love these, I just did a painting the other day of um, Sakura, like cherry blossom, flowers and this brush it's perfect you just go boop, boop, and you've got petals I love these brushes but for this piece we're going to use this with some of the white and we're going to kind of travel through the vibrant part of the sea green and make some nebulous looking lines and blending see what we come up with Looks yummy, it's on a plate. Yeah, right? <laughs> Hi, Galarac, welcome to the painting stream. And Sean Murray eats all your paint. Oh, oh he's gonna have a tummy ache. Bob Fish Mag Ross. <laughs> I like it, Magic, that's hilarious. Hey, Galarac, welcome, welcome. All right, so, put a nice coating on this brush of white. And the nebulous area sort of is mainly towards this middle to left hand section of the, of the horizon. So we'll focus there and just travel in all nebulous directions. Uh, nebulas are changeable, movable, malleable every moment. So until your paint dries, it really can be too. You can sort of go into the black as well, but if you do, you might want to clean real quick. Looking pretty nebulous.
It's kind of cool that on the outer edges, it's the white is going to fade more into a green. And that's just precisely how it is, so. What do you guys think? Does that look like a nebula? I think so. Yeah. So that's looking pretty cool. Uh, we will be coming back through later with some beautiful blue nighttime clouds. We've also got the planet, which we'll put in with the white rings on the horizon line. But we have to wait for these steps to dry. The next step will be putting in a nice, beautiful blue ocean below. are going to just take this pretty blue and I might mix in a little tiny bit of black because I want to darken it a little bit and I'm going to make it on top of this teal that we made previously it's pretty much gone but it's still a little wet and it might give some nice undertones to the blue since we all know water reflects light, including color. And so this blue ocean would be reflecting some of that nebula anyway. Fair amount of it, because we're doing the whole bottom. And there's already a tiny bit of black on here. So here, look, check this out. Let's see what happens. Let me add a little bit of black. Just makes it a nice deeper blue. Just a tiny bit of black. I feel like the turquoise is definitely picking up a little bit, but not in a way that we super duper see. But I like this deep blue that the black has revealed. And we can go in with slightly more black in places to give it texture and tone. Oh, look, there's my painting from, from uh, Moose. The moose is in spell web down there. <laughs> it was hiding. All right, so this ocean. I'm gonna use one of my biggest brushes because that's a lot of space to cover. So you take your blue. And we're just gonna cover the whole darn thing with it, guys all over, even on top of this tape.
I don't have to be really cautious here, but some of the black is still drying and I'm not ready to blend anything yet. Plus, we're going to probably throw in some like illusions of land formations right on the horizon line. Um, with like a darker blue, I was thinking. I'm getting more of that turquoise coming through with a little bit of blending now that I'm scraping the bottom of the pile of paint I made. It's kind of cool. Paint the whole area. And paint the outside today. I don't do this every time, but it is something you can do that makes, uh, you don't necessarily have to frame the painting to put it on your wall if you do something like this. All right. So we've got our ocean here. It's a little, um, still a little wet and pliable. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of blending, just like down over here for some interest. I'm gonna put a little black in to the ocean and give it some brush strokes that show some water movement, but not a lot, you know, because. Of course, the water doesn't move in no man's sky. One thing I wish they would change, I would love some rivers. But you know, maybe the, there's a slight breeze going across it and so there would be a little, or there's, um, you know, some fauna swimming below. And just that tiny bit of, of black really has done a lot in this area. So, you know, I just keep passing back over it and moving just that little bit of black paint. So now we've got some texture. It's it's more, it's not flat, which is we don't we don't want that. No world is flat. Uh, this is a little. I don't know what happened. There's not enough paint here though. We're gonna be putting some other stuff in there very soon anyway. Uh, so while I have this blue down there, we're going to give a little bit more of this color 
but we're gonna put even more black into it. And we're gonna switch brushes. To just a medium, smallish brush. Hi, ER Burrows, what's up? Welcome, thanks for stopping by the paint and stream. So we just made a color with this blue and a little bit of black. Now we're gonna use more black and the same blue. I have to need more black. How is everyone? Mighty Monarch is here. Hello. Hello, hello. Cool stuff. I love how this game brings out the creativity in the community, right? It is such a creatively focused game. There's so many creative people in it, part of it. Right, so this is super dark, navy, dark, dark, dark blue. I love it. This is awesome. This is the color we're gonna use to indicate just some islands, just some formations at the horizon line. So you don't have to go above into the black much, but just a hint of color coming up out of this water. You know, maybe you wanna do some interesting, you know, those mounds that come up. You can do any shape of mound you want from No Man's Sky. I'm doing a little kind of square one. Okay. <clears throat> and you can use the little angle of the brush to make almost mountainous looking uh, texture to that horizon. See, maybe there's another formation that starts off there. Um, and I'm gonna give a little break there. Maybe this is kind of more islandish, or we don't know what's in that little inlet. All right, cool. So then, and you can still sort of see where your ship is gonna be because of the tape. You just have to <laughs> keep an eye on your tape. Um, oh, let's do another formation. Maybe a bigger one. Closer. So I know that's tough to see, guys. I'll pull it up a little bit closer for you. And while it's not dry yet, especially, it's a little easier to see closer up with the light. Just the hint of a horizon line. Oh, you know what? I sort of forgot the planet, the planet in the painting is right here. I maybe should have put my little gap right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, I'll just move the planet now and uh, we'll put it here. <laughs> uh, but that's gonna be really cool. I'm excited about that. Um, in fact, we can start to put in the white for that. Doing pretty good, chilling by the lake, doing some fishing right now. Awesome, what kind of fish are you catching today? Oh, that sounds so relaxing. Almost as relaxing as painting. <laughs> That's great. How oh, is everyone? Yes, very good, very good. Okay, so the planet is gonna be right here now. 
Um, and it's got kind of like an oval ring. So let's just, I'm just going to freehand it, guys. So we've got a ring, and then we'll throw the planet in there in a minute. Um, the other thing we want to do with white is uh, make a little, so this isn't in the picture, but it's something I enjoy doing because it comes from my background in painting. <laughs> but you got to have a little bit of light reflection off the water. I think it's it just makes it so romantic looking. And, um, you know, the water in... No Man's Sky doesn't reflect like this, um, but with this thing on the horizon, we're gonna do some little wispy horizontal back and forth, like crisscross reflection off the water of this, okay? So we're gonna go. And we'll make it longer than it is, right? <laughs> I like it. I think it's super fun and pretty and whimsical. This is fun. <laughs> Aiming for some catfish. It's been turtle mostly so far. Oh, do you let the turtles go back? Do you let release them? Are you like catch and release or you making dinner tonight? Um, so that was fun. I'm gonna give this a little more of a pointed oval. There, I think that just feels a little bit better. Um, then, oh, so now, now we're gonna do a weird little thing here, guys, where you're gonna put a, a little bit of white on top of the tape that you put down. Okay, so let's go right there. Oh, wait, I don't wanna do that yet. Don't do it yet, I'm just kidding. <laughs> let's wipe that off. Oh, look, there's the tape. You can see it. It is bright orange. I actually want to paint the spaceship silhouette before doing that next step I was about to show you. Um, and we can do that now. So the ship is going to be about the same dark blue that you still have on your palette from the horizon line. If you want, you can darken it up just a little bit extra. Maybe in just one corner of it. Ooh, too much, too much, too much, too much. That's okay though. You can do a small detail brush. Mm. Is it too black? I'm trying to leave a little bit of that dark blue because I'm going to throw a little green in it and make it the planet color as well. So I only mixed a little bit of that navy blue with some more black. And we'll see. It's pretty black, but oh, that's fine. 
for the ship. So the ship, we can barely even see it in the picture. It's such a dark night on this planet. So we're just gonna kind of go around the lighting, you know, the, the lighting, the exhaust ports of the back. We're gonna give it structure. There's like a piece that goes around that. These connected to the back, you know. So really you're just connecting the tape areas. We're not worried about details. This is a cool like engine part with exhaust. And maybe you know more about the ships and you can actually paint more detail of the silhouette and that's fine. I do not care so much. Sorry, it's a little hard for you guys to see this far away. That's the problem with the dark painting. And so once you've kind of pieced in what goes around the engine lighting, then it does have some wings. Um, coming out, I think it's like a twofer. It's got like a double layer of wings. It goes here and here. Okay, and we'll do the same over here. It's going to go across our cool uh, reflections, which I think is neat, actually. That looks about right. And once that's dry, we'll put a little bit of white on the end. Cool. So there's that. And when we pull those off, it's going to be this awesome bright white jet engine. Uh, back to our lighter version of this navy blue. We'll throw in the planet. Uh, oh, I wanted to make it a little a hint more green. That's right. Just a drop. A little more than a drop, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Here we go. So. Green into that dark, dark navy. What's it gonna do? That's cool. Probably prettier to me than it is to you. <laughs> That's all right. All right, so. Throw that planet in here.
right? You can barely see it, I know. <laughs> uh, here you go, guys. You can kind of see it now. It's all right. So that color's done. Let's do a couple quick marks of white at the tip. Of our spaceship and then um is it time yeah we could do it maybe let's see i just wipe this, this stuff off I'm wiping off the little bits of paint on the tape because I'm going to put some white on here. And for each spot where you're putting the white on top of the tape, I'm going to smear it. All right, so You've got the white put down and you take your finger and you're going to smear white around. Okay. So I'm using a different finger each time. Looks like I need a little more white. I'm almost going overboard with this, guys, but I'm going to go with it and see how it turns out. Very fun. All right, so we're just gonna let that dry for a second <laughs> and see if there's any little touch-ups I wanna do anywhere else. I think I'm just going to spruce up these guys a little. Yeah. Some of that dark green of the planet can kind of get blended in here with some light. That's kind of pretty.
I hate waiting. This part is the worst. Uh, we can speed up the process slightly with a paper clip. or a push pin. <laughs> it's the, I found it before I could find the paper clips. What's, what's the chat saying? Uh, I only do catch and release. It's more of a relaxing pastime for me. I'm keeping the turtle in a bucket till I'm done though. He keeps stealing my bait. <laughs> yeah, that's smart. <laughs> Clever little turtle, adorable. Hitman free on the Epic Games Store this week. All right. All right, so I'm just gonna get, try to be very careful and just get a corner up on the duct tape here. Once I've got the corner, you can just lift away. All right, I'm gonna try to get you guys closer to this action so you can see it better. Let's see. All right, is that better guys? Yes. So, we're just trying to get just under the corner without smearing any paint. Lift away. So a little bit of the dark blue had bled in on the sides of the tape, but it's it's not terrible. It kind of is an interesting texture. We can also go through with white and clean it up. We'll definitely want to clean it up there because the seams on the tape were not meeting perfectly. <laughs> but yeah, so now we have this super clean exhaust ports on the ship. Now, the fuzzy stuff, the fuzzy effect around the edges didn't turn out quite like I had hoped. Uh, I should have waited for the black paint to dry. I'm just so impatient sometimes, guys. It still looks kind of cool. I enjoy it. So I'm gonna leave it as is. I think though that I may clean it up just a tiny bit with some white paint, just plain white. Oh, I left my palette. What else did I use? Well, let's see. It's the white. It's almost out. I don't need very much, so I can just use what's in the cap right here. Get the perfect sized brush that's going to fit in those little tape marks.
Cool. All right, so we just touched it up a tiny bit and now it's a little bit cleaner, crisper, but we have those nice sharp lines to follow from the tape, which I love. So that's the painting for today, you guys. It's It was super simple, I know, and probably would have put my ship a, like one more inch down if I want, you know, this is a lot of blue. It's okay though, I enjoy it. it that's why I liked the painting in the first place, it was simple. Also, had I remembered to leave the break in the landscape a little farther over here, then the planet would be over here and it would feel a little bit more balanced. Um, but you know what, I'm not here to critique myself. It was just fun. You know, we could always uh, put something in the water over there. We felt like it. I think there's also clouds in this painting. Oh my gosh, there's clouds, you guys. I forgot about the clouds. Also, in stepping away. It looks awesome. Great work of art, Moose. Thank you, Moose. Um, stepping away sometimes helps, and I just did. So I'm gonna just, just round this planet out a little more. I've now covered up the light, but that's okay. Cool, okay. Yeah, the clouds, guys. Oh, I can't believe I forgot the clouds. I don't even have a good cloud color. Ah! We'll make this more blue. Bring more of that bright blue back. Okay, let's see what, what this does. <laughs> and I'm okay with a little dry brushing on these clouds. They were kind of see-through in the painting or in the picture. Just some stumbling action. But it's important, I wanted to make sure I did this because one of the things I really liked about the clouds was some of them go over the rings I'm going to carefully start away from the ring, and then when I get to my dry brushing part, do a little see-through stumbling over. Yeah, because um, it just, you know how it is when you're like not quite in the upper atmosphere yet, and you see both the nebula and the, and the clouds. I thought that was a neat part of this picture, so. For sure doing that, that means I'm gonna do a little bit of a reflective cloud thing down here. Not big, just kind of a loose reflection. Also gives a little extra texture and interest to it. No, one more. Cool. <laughs> and I know it's all so dark, you guys can barely see it. But see, that sort of helps, gave a little more interest and 
uh, helped our eye focus in on this here without it feeling all the weight over here. I'm gonna throw one extra cloud, it needs it. One more extra cloud. Up here. Fun, 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 fun. Hello, Bobby Mickey. Looks great. Thanks, Kev B. Thanks, guys. This was a fun one. Thanks, Spider Beck, for submitting. I don't think he's in the chat today, but that's all right. It's always the way, isn't it? I choose someone and they're never in the chat that day. <laughs> um, but feel free, you guys, if you take a really fun picture in NMS that you want to share with me, possible inspiration for the future, I uh, do love to see him. So my Discord link, Moose, do you have time? I know you're at work. Can you throw the uh, Discord link all up in there? Hello to everyone I missed. I'm in a microwave enchilada regret hell today. Uh-oh, Dimash, that's terrible. J Spot J, hello, hello, hello. It's so nice to see all of your friendly, wonderful faces in the chat today. Um, so thank you once again. Uh, is Hey, can anyone tell me, is Beeble still streaming? Is he, is he? I bet he is, let's see. I want to do a raid. I've never done a raid. What do you guys think? Yeah? Should we all go raid Biebs? Because that's the painting for the day. So um, I'm going to get cleaned up here, but I'm going to jump into Beeble's uh, stream. And if y'all would join me, that'd be great. Heck yeah. Boop, beedy, boop, boop, boop. What do we say? Madfish raid. Madfish raid. All right. Okay. So take care, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs> Thank you for the Discord link, Moose. It's right there, guys. Post screenshots in the NMS screenshots channel in my Discord server. All right. Be well. Enjoy whatever you're doing. <laughs>